We must seize the means of production. Stop it, Vlad. You know the rule. If you want to regulate something, go regulate the mess in your room. Mm. What exactly was that dumpster fire? Well, it turns out that there is uh, this new ad for anti-socialist books for children. It's floating around the internet, drew our attention today, and we wanted to share it for you. The company is called Turtle Twins, and their marketing apparently is not sitting well with YouTube watchers, because if you look at the like to dislike ratio, it did not do well. Uh, let's take a look at this graphic. Oof. Ratioed pretty hard, pretty decent view count though, almost 140,000 last time I checked. Now, um, let's watch another clip from this incredibly dorky ad and then unpack it. Now, my kids are being told by the media and even the school system that socialism is great. Mama, if we just get rid of all these successful people, we'll finally be happy. No, honey, that just means we'll all be poor. I want to teach my kids right, but it is so hard to find age appropriate material to teach them about the principles of freedom. The blocks are the supply, and when people want them, that's demand. Is that what dad meant when he said you're too demanding? Some great A acting there, really good stuff. Um, no, I mean, they're right, they're so right. You know, you look at Communist countries, socialist countries, and they're just really struggling in everything. You know, they're having a tough time. Whereas here in the United States, we're prospering. All right, we wake up and we hustle, we rise and grind, we work real hard. We're producing more than ever before, and you know what? We're living the good life, right? 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 I don't know. Let's take a look. Across the city, the tents stretch everywhere. From Hollywood to Venice Beach, scenes from what could be a disaster movie. Now, a seemingly permanent fixture on the streets of Los Angeles. If you're not shocked by what you see, then I, I don't know what you would be shocked by. I mean, I'm shocked. I thought, I thought that our economic model was wonderful. And I thought that no one lives in poverty and everyone's like doing really, really well. Um, looks like that's not really the case. Also, I mean, look, that was a video from Los Angeles. You know, maybe it's just these uh, corporate Democrats uh, and their lack of leadership that's led to this. But I don't know. Maybe we should look at the bigger picture. Uh, what's going on with inequality in the United States, especially during a pandemic, right? Well, over the last 16 months, since the formal beginning of the pandemic lockdown, the combined wealth of 713 U.S. billionaires has surged by. $1.8 trillion, a gain of almost 60%. The total combined wealth of US billionaires increased from 2.9 trillion on March 18th, 2020 to 4.7 trillion on July 9th of 2021. I'm not done yet, I have just a little more statistics. Because you know, a dorky video where you're pretending to be a good mom by indoctrinating your kid about socialism and all of its evil ways. Um, isn't really great in debunking <laughs> the facts that I'm about to share with you. So for instance, the wealthiest 1% held 32.1% of the total, uh, up 23.4% in 1989. The top 10% of households owned $70 of every $100 in household wealth, up from $61 in 1989. Oh, looks like that wealth gap is growing, it's weird. The bottom half, whose share never exceeded 5%, now holds just 2% of household wealth in the United States. But I'm sure all those corporate executives just worked harder, right? They work so hard. One more clip from that stupid ad. Luckily, I now have the Tuttle Twins to help us. The Tuttle Twins is a series of books written for freedom loving parents that teach correct principles about free markets in clear and relatable stories. You know, clear and relatable, so opposite of socialists. Yeah, except socialism actually is pretty relatable, even here in the United States, where most things unfortunately are commodified. So let me give you, I think, the most obvious examples. Social Security is a socialist program, it's a government run pension system that cuts out private money managers. Medicare, a single payer government run health insurance program for those over 65 is also a socialist program. Hmm. 
Now, do Americans like it? I mean, are they familiar with it? And if they are familiar with it, do they like it? Well, in its 85th year, Social Security enjoys over 90% support among Democrats, Republicans, and Independents, according to an AARP survey of 14, a little over 1400 people ages 18 and older. Uh, so 96% of those polled, regardless of affiliation, meaning political affiliation, said that Social Security was either the most important government program or an important one compared with other government programs. And two in five of those surveyed said they will rely on Social Security as a substantial source of income in retirement. More than 69 million people, almost um, and almost nine out of 10 of those 65 and older, get Social Security benefits according to the Social Security. Security Administration. Fascinating. So it looks like it looks like that pro-capitalist anti-socialism ad was full of lies. Wow, who could have saw that coming? Maybe that's what explains the like to dislike ratio. And one more graphic for you. The minimum wage, maximum hour and child labor laws that go back more than a century are likewise socialist programs in that the government intervenes in the capitalist market to require employers to meet minimum standards that might not be met in a pure unregulated free market. Agricultural and energy subsidies, meaning corporate welfare, are likewise socialist programs. So let me just note that everybody loves socialism, okay? People who unfortunately don't get enough of it in the form of social security and Medicare, Love it so much that every time Republicans are in charge and can actually cut these programs, they never do it. They never do it because there's a political price to pay if they actually go through with it. But the people in this country who love socialism the most are corporations, the ones who get tax subsidies, the pharmaceutical companies that love taxpayer funded research and development because they don't want to take the risk. Have the American taxpayer take the risk. They love to socialize the costs, privatize the profits. So that ad was stupid and there's really nothing else to say about it.